guys, this is the Basic Gamer, and I hope you guys are doing well and having a fabulous time. And we're here once again to check out a new build, and this was suggested to me by a friend on YouTube. Once again, Mr. Snaggy Waggy uh, has suggested us a build, and this is the Twin Gargoyles, or the Gargoyles Twin Blade build. And, well, what do you need? Well, you need this weapon. And how will you get it? You gotta come to the Great Waterfall Basin or the Aqueduct Facing Cliffside of Grace, where you will fight the twin gargoyles or the very valiant gargoyles. Um, I've got a video on how to take them down, so I'll share the link to that video in the description below as well if you're having trouble. But once you have them down, you shall have this weapon which we have upgraded to plus 25 using normal smithing stones. And then we have equipped the Seppoku Ash of War. And while we were equipping that, we, um, well, put the Blood Affinity on it, which gives us a D scaling in Arcane as well. Otherwise, the attribute scaling, we've got B in Strength and E in Dexterity. And then the D in Arcane is added by the Blood Affinity that we chose uh, while putting on the Seppoku Ash of War. And then the attributes required, well, 18 points in Strength, 15 in Dexterity. And passive effects, well, causes blood loss, build up 104. And then Dragon Communion Seal, upgrade to plus 10, using Somber Smith and Stones to get our, well, Golden Wow, 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 Wow. And Flame Grant Me Strength incantations going, yes, sir. So that is why we have got this going. Uh, now we just check the character status on the right side of the screen with level 175. And these stats are with Godric's Great Rune being active, which adds five additional points to each attribute so yep my stats are with Godric's great rune being active so vigor is 60 mine 30 45 in endurance and then 74 points in strength dexterity is 28 fates 25 and then arcane is also 25 so these are our stats guys uh, Akina Mass for fashion, and then the Raptors Black Feathers for, well, if you do some jump attacks, it will give you a boost to your jump attack power. And these two are also for fashion, so, um, yeah, this one is the important one, which you shall find over here in the Sage's Cave. So, this is Rune Strewn Precipice, and then Magma Wine came up to the abandoned coffin side of grace, and then duck 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 make your way to the Sage's Cave. And just before the boss fight in a chest, a treasure chest, you'll find the uh, Raptors, Black Feathers. Yep, increases your jump attack power. And Winged Sword Insignia, but obviously if you've got the Rotten Winged Insignia, use that one because it is better than this. And then Millicent's Prosthesis, Lord of Blood's Exaltation. And then the Claw Talisman. Uh, we shall be taking in. And then the Flask of Wonders Physics, we've got the Thorny Crack Tear, Opaline Heart Tear. Enough. Serene fast, so that we don't run out. And yeah, we're just going straight in against the beast this time. Yep, we have done the gargoyle and yeah, checked it out against those guys. Does pretty well uh, against the beast. Well, let's see, let's see, let's see what happens. I know Seppoku and all that stuff is not gonna bother these guys, but hey. Blood loss and all that stuff. We're going to check it out against Melania as well. Yeah, it's not a bad weapon. It's got, I don't know, it's got, what, what has it got? It looks like it's got like um, peanut butter on it. But it is a good weapon, guys. It's like, look at that. Mr. Radagon is getting hit hard, and, whoa, now he's gonna, he's gonna come for us, while we try to dodge his moves, and give him a few hits, and while he's doing this, we put him down, and say, bye bye okay. that's not bad, guys, that's not bad. This weapon is, I'm telling you, this weapon is not, it's not something to be taken lightly. Yeah, you can do jump attacks, you can do a lot of stuff with it. Look at that, almost 5,000 damage to Mr. Big, Big, Big Dummy. Mr. Big Dummy who just likes to go up in the air, because, uh, yeah. Okay. 
this time he's like, I'm gonna throw stuff at you. And then I'm gonna come and swipe you like that. Yeah. But, but, that is it, Ellen Beast. You naughty beast. Come on. Why don't you fight like a man? Oh, he's saying, I don't fight like a man because I'm not a man. <laughs> okay. He's right on that one. Okay, let's run. Get out of this. Oh my god. What do I do? Oh. Let's see. Where are you? There you are. Where are you going, man? BCO, come on. There we go. This is where we want yeah. This is where we want yeah. We just want to go crazy. We want to go crazy. And look at that. We can do all kinds of things. Jump attacks. Blood loss build-ups. And look at that. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. The golden lights are... What is he doing? Is he dizzy? He's a dizzy. Okay. Well, yeah. You can see how easily I'm like just roaming around. So, this weapon has... Definitely got something. Oh my god, how many rings of fire are you gonna throw at me, buddy? Oh. Oh my god. These delayed ones are just nasty. See? He's doing his. He's doing everything he's got. But we have taken him out. Yeah, that's it. BCO out of the way see you later alligator so what do you think guys you like it do you want to go and check it out against the omens just to know just to see well okay we'll do it haha <laughs> i don't know about you guys but i want to go and see it now haha <laughs> okay wait hey. no we don't want that do we have any rooms there no there's no point of doing that. Okay, let's go and just check it out against the omens. And then we'll call it quits, guys. And I'll share the links to, video links, that is, to how to get most of these items. If you don't know where and how to get them, we are just going in. We just defeated the Elden Beast and Radagon. And I think I was pretty casual and still got it done quite nicely. Now, just going to check it against the omens. It gives us a good idea, especially if you are, if you have been checking stuff out um, against them. Then it's a good measure of how powerful the weapon is. Yes, your build, your build, and your weapon. Okay, depleted, destroyed. That was quick. That was quite quick, 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 okay. What about this guy? Is he gonna be fast? He's gonna... Oh my god, he didn't even touch us. He tried to touch us, but we interrupted it with our fast attacks. This weapon is no bad, guys. You're gonna love it. Love, 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 love. He didn't touch us either. And I am so happy. And we're gonna go, I'm gonna go against Melania and see how I go. And if it goes well, you'll see a video on that as well. Um, and maybe Dragon Lord Poseida Sex as well. Otherwise, guys, this is it for this one. If you have any suggestions for builds and other stuff, then please do let me know. Otherwise, this is it for this one. Until next time, happy gaming. Take care and bye-bye.